G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today, another fairy flower, but with a change. Uh, the lovely Kelly Acosta. Hi Kelly, she's a member of my Facebook group, Pouring Your Heart Out. She put up a gorgeous fairy flower and she said that uh, she did it using Platinum Ultra Clear. Um, which is one of the brands, well, the brand that I've been using for the Larimar and it works amazing. So her fairy flower using the Ultra Clear is absolutely gorgeous. So I said to her, I must try it. So today I'm trying it. And um, just got some muted colours today. We have got, again, the Acrylic Inks by Holbein. Holbein. Um, yellow Ochre, Phthalo Turquoise and Shadow Green. So... They're not bright colours, just sort of, yeah, just something a bit different. Um, because we've got yellow and blue, we're going to make green, and then we've got a green, so it's basically going to be a lot of green, I think. And then I've got some blue and green um, stones as well to put in the middle. So, so here we go with our dirty paw. Some of the yellow, probably a third, I guess. I'll do three, three layers. And then again with the yellow. I am using my large, chunky, live edge mould. Um, and it's quite a big mould. It holds, what have I mixed up? I can tell you exactly what I mixed up for it. I did 160 grams of part A of the Platinum Ultra Clear and 70 grams of part B. So that totals... 230 grams if you want to know what that is in ounces just divide it by 30 um, it'll give you a pretty close amount so yeah it holds quite a lot um, for all these techniques the Larimar the dragon flower the fairy flower uh, they all really do need a deep mold if you're using a shallow mold your white's just going to basically go straight down hit the bottom and you're going to end up with big blobbies so you need a you need a deep mold um, and again as usual i will link resincourses.com by the lovely micah down in my description uh, if you'd like to take one of the courses there's lots of different ones you can try they'll give you the amounts the recipes the resin everything that you need to um yeah to make a success of it she's also got whatsapp so if you have problems you can just whatsapp her and um yeah, she'll talk to you about troubleshooting, which is great, I think. Thank you, Micah. All right, so we'll just give this a bit of a stir. Not too much, just a bit of a blend. Um, and then I'm going to just sort of pour that in. Now, it's up to you how you want to do it. If you just want to do a puddle pour, if you want to do um, circles like me, just whatever you want to do. So if this Platinum Ultra Clear works, it's it's going to be a game changer, seriously. Like, I, I love the Art Pro, and I'm really appreciative for the people at Resin Pro to send it to me um, to try. But it, it's difficult to get. It's expensive shipping because it's from overseas. Um, so if, if the Ultra Clear works... Um, yeah, I will just be a very happy, very happy girl because I can get it easily in Australia. It's Australian made. It's from Brisbane. Just going to tap that a bit just to get those bubbles to release from the bottom. I find if I don't do it, I get a lot of bubbles. So yeah, and um, Platinum do ship pretty much worldwide now. I'll, I've got an Australian link and also an overseas link in my description if you want to try the Platinum Ultra Clear. Now, because the Ultra Clear is quite thin, oh, that's the other thing I need to tell you. Um, I mixed my resin, I put my timer on from when I stopped stirring and I timed it for 15 minutes before I decanted into all my little cups, okay? So I waited 15 minutes just so it could thicken up a little bit. And because it is a thinner resin, um, I'm not gonna pipe because I think it's just gonna drip out. So we're going to use our little pipettes, okay? So I did chop off probably about that much. So I get a nice big hole in the end there. And I just squeeze that, stick it into my resin. You can see it pulling that up like so. And away we go. Move that out of the way. And we'll just start 
dripping. I do want relatively big. Oops. I guess the only problem with the pipettes is sometimes you get a bubble. I try not to get a bubble. Once you start, I think it's pretty easy. <laughs> it doesn't hold very much though, so I cut it three mil. So you've got to keep keep going. Once I get into a routine, I'll be all right. I just want relatively big dots. But yeah, it is certainly easier with a thinner resin to use a pipette than it is to use um, a piping bag. Don't let that come up. Okay, let's go again. And then I'm going to try and just put it in between each of those. Not always that easy, but try and off-center them a little bit if you can. I try and work out a way not to get air in it. I think once you start to depress your little, you start to press with your thumb, don't let go. <laughs> Otherwise, it sucks air back up and then, um, you know, you get an air bubble. So just keep the pressure. I'm keeping the pressure with my thumb. Just keep keeping it there. I'm not letting go because as soon as I let go, the air is going to come up. Now, I don't like to go all the way to the centre, otherwise you end up with a, a lot of white in your centre. And the, the resin's going to push in from the outside anyway, so you don't, you really don't want to put too much white in the centre because the resin's going to push in and move all that white into the centre anyway, so you don't want to do that. I just like to leave a little bit of a gap in there, in the middle. Um, and also, if you're not putting um, glitter in the centre, you may end up with more white in the middle. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it without um, the, any glitter or anything in there. Because I just think that, you know, the white's going to be pushed into the middle. And if you don't have anything in there, you're just going to have a big blob of white. Is my theory. Could be wrong. And just go around the outside again where the resin started to pull away from the edge and just fill in the, the gaps again. It's kind of, I don't know, I don't know that the pipette's good or whether the piping bag's good. I don't think either of them are perfect because with the pipette I'm getting bubbles but then with the piping bag I probably get drips so I don't know next time I'll do the piping bag and see which is better eh? we can compare so let's keep going Little bit more. I think my white's probably getting a bit warm sitting there waiting for me but I need to get all this out. Oops, starting with bubbles again. I think that looks pretty good. I think we've got a nice coverage there. If I see any little black spots that haven't got any white I'll just <laughs> fill them up again all right I haven't used all of that but we don't need to use all of it now I did put a tiny bit of clear in there just for my stones so these are just some crushed stones a little bit of green a little bit of the turquoise these are what are these Glamour Sparkles by Stamperia. I think if you're doing this particular technique, it's nice to have something that's not going to float because if you're using glitter, they really do float everywhere. So I think it's nice to have something like that that you can make a paste out of that's not going to, um, you know, float too much. A little bit more. 
Okay, so, all right, here we go. Now we're adding all this white. The white is the same white that I used for my dots. Um, it's just more transparent. Hmm. I kind of feel as if I need a few more around here. Maybe not. <laughs> I do fiddle, you know, I fiddle. I haven't got any more in that one. Oh, look, that'll do. Will that do? Will that do? Probably will do. I don't want to overdo it, she says, as she adds more. This one's just an air bubble. Come on, get in there. All right, so next time I'll try with the um, piping bag. All right, here we go. Find your middle and pour that all in so it all runs off to the sides. And that's pushing that design out. And then um, it'll all get pulled back in. Oh, I've got some unstirred paste there. Okay, so I'm going to add my chunky center. Just got to figure out where the center is and add it. I think a few, a little bit went stray. Oh gosh. See, this is why you need to make it as thick as you can, like a thicker paste. Oh, see, I've spilt over there too. Oh my gosh. A thicker paste works better than it doesn't flick everywhere. You get a nice big blob. If your center ends up moving or not centered, <laughs> it's a bit asymmetrical, uh, don't worry too much. You can just do a top coat. I'm going to just kind of, I don't know where that is. I can't see where it is. I can't see where it is. Anyway, okay. Let's see how that goes. Pretty colours. Now let's just pull some of this towards the edges. Probably could have put a little bit more resin in. But no, it's it's enough. It's enough. It's not totally, totally full, but it's enough. Alright, so once this has stopped moving, um in about an hour, I guess, I will put a piece of card under it gently and move it over to my resin curing machine and then leave it in there for about three hours and then it'll be done because who wants to wait for the next day to unmold certainly not me certainly not me all right so that's pretty much it um yeah it's cross fingers that i hope it works i'm worried about my center because i dropped a few bits here and there oh gosh so yes use less resin when you're doing your center and um so it won't be It'll be not so runny. All right, I'm going to leave these on because I'm going to clean up my mess. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Righto, so I am loving what the back looks like. Look at that. I can see a tiny bit of that yellow ochre in there. But um, yeah, it's, um, it's looking very similar to what I think it would look like if I was using the Art Pro, which is the other resin I've been using for this very technique. But we'll see. We shall see. Move that out of the way. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, anyway. Look, if this works, then it'll be a game changer. Another resin that we know works. Yeah, anyway. Here we go. Ready? You're going to count with me. One, two, three. Oh, it works. <gasps> Oh, wow, you guys, it works. Yay, it works, it works, it works. <laughs> that is so cool. Wow. Still got the same, basically the same pattern. We've got this wider area around there. And then we've got that center with the, the petals. So, yay. <laughs> and there's our little center there. I think it looks 99% the same, really. I think it does. I'm just trying to look to see where there might be a difference, but I don't know. So what do you think of those colours together? I think they've turned out really nicely, hey? I think they're quite nice. It did kind of lose the yellow a little bit, but you do tend to lose 
yellow because the yellow and the blue are going to make green anyway but I was going for an overall green kind of a look I'm loving that green I might make my blue a little bit darker next time a little, little bit because it gets you know diluted with the um, with the white oh that's so cool I'm so glad it's worked you guys <gasps> I'm a happy little Vegemite all right let's go and have a look at it now this one I guess you could put maybe some silver around the edge you could even do gold because in the center there we've got the just a little bit of blue and green um, stones so I, I do feel that this technique is better off with um, a heavy center like a stone crushed glass something like that rather than the glitter which just tends to float away and, and move so I think that's this is better this way oh loving it loving it loving it all right I'm going to have a coffee in peace now that I've I've done it I've done it oh my gosh so come around here I like to have a look at the back behind my bright lights I know it's a bit messy looking at the back of my my table but I like to I like to have a look at it that way picks up all the colors really beautifully it's my fire extinguisher <laughs> make sure everyone's got a fire extinguisher on the workbench <laughs> oh, there we go so pretty all right thank you so much for watching um, yeah hopefully um, this little video has helped you if you can't get the art pro that I've been using I know you can pretty much get ultra clear a platinum anywhere now they're posting pretty much worldwide I'll put a link below for, um, for platinum or DIY composites and um, yeah you can grab yourself some but yeah it's it's a thin resin so just make sure that you do wait a little bit of time just until it starts thickening up before you pour all right like I did <laughs> all right gotta go gotta get my coffee my morning coffee I need my morning coffee all right thank you so much for watching and uh, take care I'll see you all for the next video real soon bye for now